If you look at valuations, if you look at what investors will pay based on forward earnings, we've gone from about 18 down to about 14 or 15, which is about the lowest we've seen for the past five years. So if that's a good guide, we're pretty close to the lows, and that's consistent with what you were just saying about the broader market as a whole. So we've discounted then a slowing growth rate. I think we have, because if you look at that 15 valuation, that's pretty much where we bottomed out in the earlier years, say before this past year. So that was pretty consistent with the growth rates that we're looking to see going forward around 2%. That's what we saw in 2015, 2016. So if you just look at the growth rate, where we are right now is pretty consistent with where we were, and it makes a lot of and, sense. And yet, Mike, as, as, as we all understand, the market can overshoot uh, in, in either direction. Right, Tyler. I mean, it can overshoot. And, and also, what other conditions have changed since the market bottomed in 2015, early 2016? Well, the cycle, however you want to define it, is a little bit older. So I think you have to have investors gain some comfort that we're not near the very end of this expansion. So therefore, maybe on the order of 1.5 or 2% next year might be good enough. Uh, but on the way there, you have your doubts as to whether, in fact, it's going to be worse. Uh, the other thing is, of course, interest rates are higher. So the fact that bond yields right now didn't really come down that much during this equity correction, the 10 year is still above 3%. Um, it just this creates a little bit of a headwind for, uh, for stock valuations. At least it has recently, especially when corporate credit is acting up a little bit and it's demanding uh, higher yields from companies. So all that into the mix, I think it's understandable why the broad market anyway has had a hard time finding some traction here the last couple months. Brad, are you anticipating a Santa Claus rally? I think we've got a reasonable shot, but more to the point, you know, I think the points Mike makes are solid, and even though I expect to bounce, we're going to find out in the next couple of weeks. If we don't get a Santa Claus rally, then it's going to say to me that investors are more concerned because of exactly what he was saying, and we might see a further leg down. Brad, right now you're, you're investing defensively um, in the equivalent of the equity bunker. You like health care, REITs, utilities. Um, if we do see a bounce, does that cause you to change that stance? I don't think so, because what we're seeing here is a change in leadership. You know, there's been an enormous run on growth in all the growth sectors, tech, for example. It's not that value is necessarily going to outperform, but you're no longer going to see that kind of growth outperformance. So I'm going to be more defensive just because I think the market is shifting towards the end of the cycle. 